So the Nissan Navara NP300 2015 steering wheel. We're going to pull it apart. So the chances are you're watching this video because you've tried to pull it apart like I did. I made a big mess of it. Um, but I finally figured it out after watching a bunch of other YouTube videos. But um, they didn't say a few things that would have made it a lot easier. So I'm going to try to make it a little bit easier for you. So first things first. Disconnect your battery. So take the negative off. And just if you're looking for it, like I was forever, the fuse box for your, for your horn is this one here. I can get it off. That's the fuse box for the horn. And I'll tell you here which one it is. Right there. I did have a cameraman lined up to help me out, but um, he had uh, important things to do. But I did fix my hair for this video, so you can comment down below and tell me if you like my hair. But um, let's get back to the steering wheel. All right, so the steering wheel, it's got three holes in it. There's one there. There's one there. And there's one there. Now, if you're like me and try to get do it without um, doing proper research, you probably would have got stuck halfway through. Now, the important thing is, don't start from the ones on the side. Start from the one at the bottom. That one. And I'm just using... Um, tent pegs so what you do is you put it in the hole and then towards the engine slide it up and push see how the bottom comes out it's important that you start from the bottom Out. then you do the top ones if I can get it in there there's a little thing that you push out I think I got that one too made the same mistake so I'll start again push it back in because it's important that the bottom comes out first I think that's out enough might stick something in there keep it out just double check it ah, there it goes now it's out there it goes now it's out
Now you can get the top ones. That one's out. And that one's out. Nope. Yeah, it was out. Which way am I? This way. Alright, so what was happening when we were pushing the tent peg through is down there, releasing that one. And then on the side, we're releasing that one. That's why it's important to go towards the engine, otherwise you would just go over it. So you gotta go towards the engine, that way. And that side, same thing. And what that does is it releases these three things. That one and that one. All right, so we'll unplug this. This is the airbag, by the way, I think. Gotta take this um, little switchy thing off. Never know how to take this off. There it is. All right, airbag out of the way. Take this off. Yeah, so it's that little thing there. You just push that in with a little screwdriver and then it comes out. So the reason why I'm pulling it apart is because um, my cruise control stopped working and then my radio volume up and down stopped working and my phone call button stopped working and apparently it's the, um, what do they call it, spring coil. bought this off eBay and that's behind there all right we're getting there I'm gonna take this thing off
All right, now I'm gonna take that bolt off. So we're using a number, what number is that? Number 19. Pretty cool bolt. It's got the washer stuck to it. All right, so that's where our spring coil is. The steering wheel should just pop off. With a little bit of force. There it is. Now, last time I pulled this apart, I pulled it apart earlier, the last few days, so I can find out what part I needed. And um, to get these buttons off, if you wanted to clean them, which I'm not going to do in this video, is you take, you unhook all, all this plastic from behind the steering wheel. Sort of like, you pull it off take this bit off and then you can unscrew there are a couple of screws behind these video turned off I'm not sure why but we're back I think I hope I got all that all right now we're going to take this thing off um so we've got two screws there, we'll start with those. these two things apart I'll just pause this for a sec all right I think we're back So, to take this bottom one off, you kind of like, there's a screw under here, it's very hard to access, but I'm not going to do all that, I'm just going to leave it hanging, it kind of goes out of our way, down, and this one goes up, that one comes right off actually. So then, we got these four screws, two, three, four. So let's try to get that off. But before we get that off, I'm going to take these. I might not even have to take the plugs out. Because I've got this part. It's the top part. That's my replacement part. Yeah, good. So I just have to take these two screws off that one and that one. All right, let's see how we go. Actually, I might have to take the whole thing off. We'll see anyway. Some 
is a magnetic. All right, I'm gonna take these out anyway. So there's one here on the side. Oh, it's all loose. I'm gonna try to find the spot to rest this camera. All right, sorry about the footage. It's the best I could do. Um, all right, so let's take these switches off. Take this off first, get it out of the way. Got a little thing here that you push. Right there, that little thing. That's the same with this switch here. It's got a little thing on the side there, you push into that. I don't know if you can see that. Just there. These two here are a little bit more complicated because I can't see them. There it goes. Just push from underneath it. And the same with that yellow one. Alright. So this thing should just pop out. unhook it on either side it's got these things on either side pull it out and it comes out all right so this is the part that I want to change it's not the whole thing this is my replacement part this one has on it already missing this bit here so this comes off comes into two pieces anyway it's pretty straightforward once you see it That's what we want, we want that off. We got our new part. And put that on. Should just be straightforward like that. Clicks in. All right. So I'll show you on the old part what this thing does. Clock, clock spring it's called, sorry, all that time. This thing has a, a wire in it and it spins. So that's why you can turn your steering wheel and, um, and the wires are still connected for your radio and all that. 
so it can only spin a certain amount of time so if you spin it make sure you put it back into the center so that will go one two and a bit or three and a bit so that's a bit one two three and then the other way will go one two and a bit one two so that's the center the new one comes with a little clip on it so it's already centered and I guess you can take that off once you've got it installed so I'm going to get this back in first so it should click in nice alright put all the plugs back in Alright, so I figured out why I'm struggling to get the the plug back in, this plug here, I'm struggling to get it in. Um so this one's the old one. Oh, where are we? This one's the old one. And this one's a new one. And the new one, the old one, see this little bit of plastic there? The new one, it's thicker. I don't know why that's there. See that bit, bit of plastic? That's stopping the plug from going in compared to the, the original. So I'm going to try to file that down with a nail filer and I'll get back to you. It's going to take me a while so I'm not going to do it on camera. Alright, so I ended up cutting it off with a blade. Oh, that looks very rusty on camera. Not that rusty, but just dirty. <laughs> but anyway, I use a blade and cut it off, so let's see how we go. Yes, and that went in nice. Get this back in. screws back in
Oh, they won't go in because I've got to put the indicators on first. Plug that in too. Too tight. All right, we get in there. Um, still more. Yes. Now around to. I pulled it, put it all together and put and put it all apart again because I forgot to put this back on. So I'll do that. So I'm going to screw this back in, I'll pause the video to do that. Get this back in. Airbag. I'll just uh, pause the video. Before I put it back in, that's what it looks like. Line it up and you kind of have to push the top in first. There it is. All right, now it's in. All right, now let's put the battery on and see if it works. All right, wish me luck. Cruise control is turning on. See the radio. Source working. And 
let's see the volume up and down. Yes. Change channel. Yes, everything's working. I won't know 100% if the cruise control is working until I'm driving, but um, yeah, if I don't continue the video, it worked. Hope that helped.